up and welcome back. Today, a very special puzzle sent to me by a gentleman out of the Netherlands, Tuan Jeems. I'll leave the link below to his Etsy page. He is an independent puzzle creator and decided to create a puzzle with my name in it, which is ridiculous. This is insane. It spells out my name and it's one of those jigsaw puzzles that you gotta fit into the little square. So some of my favorite puzzles because the solutions usually require an outside the box thinking. I don't know if this one does, uh, but it's very, very appealing. Uh, a level 10 nonetheless. Before we get into this video, quick word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Canva. Click the link in the description below where you get a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro. For those of you who don't know what Canva is, I'm gonna be really frank with you guys. I've been using Canva for years. When I started getting into YouTube, I used, I used Canva to make my thumbnails and my banners on my channel. You have access to over 60 million design files and elements, including stock photos, including banners, including frames, anything you want. So I decided to use Canva Pro to go ahead and make a new YouTube banner, something that I haven't done in like, what, 10 years? Canva Pro can be used as a team, so whether you're two or 2,000 people, you can edit on the same file, you can schedule posts, you can work basically together on creating a single file without losing any time. So first of all, I use this uh, photo that I found, which basically gives you the exact dimensions of the banner when seen on tablets, on phones, and when seen on desktop. So you see the different sizes. I'm gonna grab a few photos that I wanna put up. I'm gonna use basically the smart content aware uh, cutout feature here. Let's see how this works. That's pretty impressive. Uh, if ever it doesn't cut out exactly how you like it, you can go in and just touch it up. And once I have all these elements, I'm gonna string them all together. I also wanna choose a font for my name. Now there are literally thousands of font, I don't know, maybe tens of thousands. There are so many font choices here. Basically what you wanna do is you can add shadows to these photos and all sorts of really cool editing elements. I'm gonna add like this little glitch effect because this is part of the sort of future me puzzle series that we did. Once I'm done putting all these in, I'm gonna add some little cool splash elements here in the background, which I thought were really dope as well. And finally, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a backdrop. So total, this probably took me 45 minutes to an hour, uh, just because there were so many things that you know, I wanted to go around and, and test out. Honestly, super easy to use. As you can see, all I have to do afterwards is export it as a PNG, and then go ahead and upload it to my YouTube. So there you go. 10 years in the making, I haven't updated my YouTube banner, and there it is, done easy with Canva Pro. Uh, so check it out again, thanks to Canva for sponsoring this video. I left the link in the description for a 45 day free trial to Canva Pro. All right, let's get into solving the uh, Chris Ramsey jigsaw puzzle. Here we are. <laughs> this is a bit, this is a bit weird, not gonna lie. This is a Chris Ramsey puzzle. So someone made this for me, which is amazing. By the way, this piece broke. I had to glue it together because I dropped it. But I just thought this was the coolest thing in the world. Let me just get this all together so you can see. The fact that this spells my name is amazing and someone made a puzzle out of it. So we gotta take these letters and fit them in here. Now, what's cool about this, first of all, the fact this is created by someone specifically for me is bananas. Secondly, the fact that uh, this was 3D printed is also incredible, if you ask me, uh, even this. And on here, what's really cool is that there's this little extra knob. So so the person who made this figured, oh weird, it's like a weird suction, look at that. The person who made this figured this little, uh, I guess the reason for this is that without this, you would be able to solve it multiple ways. And by adding these dents here and these little knobs here, it would prevent that. So first things first, there's this. To maximize the amount of usage we're using, we're going to have to place something in there. That is, in my opinion, pretty obvious. Uh, same goes for this. You know what I mean? Something like that. So let's start there. Let's start here. Boop, ba -doo. Mm -hmm. So we're not maximizing space by doing that though, but we are using that. This probably goes here. Look at that. That's a good fit. See how they make these little squares everywhere and everything is kind of almost complete. That's where we want to be. I think that's where we want to be. Right there. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. The <laughs> now it gets trickier and trickier. Let's put this one here, like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, let's start a timer here, by the way. 
Stopwatch, hello. Zero seconds, let's go. That's nice, I like that. I like that a lot. If there was actually, probably use this one to maximize space here, there we go. So far, so good. There's also that, right? But it's not snug. I like it when it's snug, that's good. I really hope there isn't some type of weird solution to this and that the solution is simply to fit the pieces in because otherwise wouldn't be much fun. Yeah, this is going to take me a while. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, ha. I mean, dude, if I solve this in two minutes, I swear, you might think it's luck, but, uh, you know, we're actually, we're actually trying to to go about this logically. And we're almost there. I feel like we're almost there. I feel like, you know, if I do something like that, is that against the rules, you think? I mean, even if it is, <laughs> still. Oh man, we've used up all the space pretty much, except like here, like everything else is pretty much used up. Okay, so one of them goes like that, I think. Okay, oh. Yo, that is weird. How do I wait a second? How is that even possible? Wait, what? Like, how is this even possible? What? See, the dilemma now is that we want to be on this plane, right? If we're following where the squares line up, um, unless I'm on this plane here, but in which case still leaves us with so many gaps. So something's something's up here. This isn't working out the way I thought it would. Oh, that's rather nice. Oh, so close. Dude, I'm even using extra like <laughs> openings that have no business being used and still not enough room for an extra piece. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what if this one's wrong? Even though I like it there? No, it's, it's, it fits too good. It fits too good. Okay. Well, something's wrong here. Something is definitely wrong here. Problem is I can't, uh, I can't see what's wrong. I can see what's wrong. I can't understand how to circumvent said wrongness. I don't know. Okay. Jeez, like, I mean, it doesn't get more perfect than that. It doesn't get more perfect than that. Maybe that little square matters, right? This works. I think the uh, the best solution is that. Unless it goes here. Right, so it gives me a little bit extra room here, which I may need maybe for this guy, right? Because he's the only, he's the only one that's protruding. This is good. Can always count on puzzles. They give you a hard time. If you're ever looking for something to give you a hard time, until tell you, you can always count on a puzzle. That is correct. Yeah? Hmm. Again, this would be the best fit. But then leaves us with that gap for no reason. Unless the solution is something weird like that, which I don't think it is. Right, that would have fit there nicely. Uh, you can fit two of them sideways and one of them upright. No, not even. Okay, some of them upright, basically. So, well, that's kind of... That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Does it help us anywhere? It does not. Does it hinder us? Neither. Okay. Like, I mean, right? That that works. That will, we'll say that works. Again, this has to go upwards, which then we're losing so much space by doing that. Got to be a half one. Okay. Let's say that one fit. Right? I just want to play around with the idea that that one fits. Because even if that one fits... I'm still, I'm still in a position where I don't have a solution. The bare minimum has been taken up except for this little thing here. Which may be going on this side. Comes out the same thing, doesn't it? Okay, we like this. I feel like we like that. Obvious choice would be this. Because this and this, these are similar letters. Because they can fit in the, uh, in the corners, kind of like this. They share a similarity. Put them both like that. Okay, that's an idea. But then you'd need something here. We could put that there. Okay, so another one fits here somewhere. Okay. There is this one as well, which fits in corners. You know? Sometimes it just ain't it, Chief. Sometimes it just ain't it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So much space wasted here. Still going to stick with this base. Because this base loses 
no space. The bass loses no space. This is a bizarre piece. It definitely has to play around there. It's all pretty sound so far. It's until I put the next piece. Actually, I could put this one here and it would still be pretty sound. I could even do this and that would still be pretty sound. It always gets to that one point. That one point. Okay, this is something there. Not bad. Not bad. Not perfect. Not bad. And that's where we fall short. There's nothing. There's no way. Yeah, there's just no way we could put. Nope. All right, we start over. We go again. Currently on 20 minutes. And these ones, these ones have the most uh, volume. Uh, we got this one, which is super bizarre. Get that in the frame. This one's super bizarre. This one's super bizarre. Actually, whoa. That, holy, that is, that's perfect right there. This is perfect. That has the most volume. That now has the most volume. And if there was a way that I could fit something underneath there, there is no way because that is the only one. It is either this one or that one. So it might be this one. And then this one might go on. Oh, no, I can't do that. Is there no other that can fit through there? There is no other. Okay, so we know for a fact that we know nothing for a fact, actually. But we know that this one and this one are the only two that can fit in that space. So either this goes there, that goes there. Actually, that doesn't matter. That's got to be it. But if it isn't it, I mean, this is also it, right? But if that's it, then we lose space. We definitely lose space here. Let's try to, let's try to just, yeah, there's no way of doing this where we don't lose space. Maybe there is. Hold on. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that works. That actually works. Okay, is there another one that would work? I guess the nines would work then, wouldn't they? Hope the solution is not something like that, because that would be so frustrating. I'm hellbound on figuring that one out. Uh, but let's try, let's try that. I like that. I like that. I like this. Either this one or uh, this one. That works too. Uh, we need an R here. That's upside down, like this. Uh, see, now we're gaining space by using the flat side against a wall. This one has a flat side, so these two have flat sides. They need to go up against a wall, 100%. Okay, th that's where we're gonna run into a problem is over here. Wait, are we? No, yes, that works. <gasps> that's huge. Let's go, let's go, that's awesome. We like that, right? I think we like that. I think we like this. Let's just go for broke here. Just kinda, yeah, I'm stuck with all the, the, the ones that are not so cool. Okay, maybe this one doesn't go there just yet. Okay, we, we hold on to you, we still have hope. All right, we still have hope you. Mm -mm. That's good. That's good because we're using up like no space. I think something like that, but then, yeah. Here and here, but what would go in between there? Wait, could this one fit? No, it does not. I don't like that at all. That also works. Pretty much the same thing. We can put it on the other side. No, it can't, okay. Could also do that. Hmm. Okay, so if I do this, this is actually perfectly symmetrical and it fills everything up really nicely. If we follow symmetry once more, we can also do this. This puts us in a bit of a pickle though, because now we don't have much that can be there. Never mind. That fits there. And so does this. And that one's actually a really great fit. This one, however, is not so great. You see? Oh man. Come on. So close. Yo, that's symmetry though. But we are giving up some gaps here. Are giving up some gaps here. Let's keep this. Uh, let's keep this symmetry thing going then for a second. Let's instead. Mm, that's going to be weird if we do that. That one works quite nicely. That also works quite nicely. But then we have to use this one here to fill up that void. If we do that, it's not really going to help us out much. I mean, Jesus. Okay. I'm starting to think that the solution isn't 
what we think it is. Like, it isn't like a, like, here's what I'm starting to think. Here's where my head's going. This type of stuff. Like, if you look at it, it's basically, it might be less space doing it this way. So let's give it a shot. Start with this one here. Now we know that one either goes there or fits perfectly with that one. I think it might go here just to, just because this one might be able to fit, you know, somewhere else. I don't know. But let's try, let's try this. If we can make like a symmetrical sort of, you know, opening here, maybe we can start moving the pieces in diagonally. I like the idea of these two pieces going together. That's kind of cool. The fact that these are symmetrical is really, uh, you know, maybe we have openings here now. Maybe that's it. Maybe it is something like that. But obviously we're going to be left with a big sliver up top unless, man, if that fit there, that would have been so good. You know, look at this. <laughs> I still have a whole piece left. Hmm. This is what I mean, like there's no real way to make everything fit. We're losing some space here. Which tells me that that piece might not be right. Oh, that's cool. Again, doesn't help us. Just interesting. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. I know that the sides here have to be on the side because it eliminates space. So we'll do that. done so there was a tricky little move here this piece i knew it so if you follow the rule if you follow what you think the rules are you're not going to get it this is a brilliant puzzle really really genius shout out to the creator this is this was a lot of fun and uh took, well here we go two hours of solve time <sighs> well hot Dang. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Chris Ramsey puzzle. Solved in a matter of two hours. Painstaking, brain hurting, frustrating, yet incredibly satisfying. So if you guys wanna check this puzzle out, left the link below, you can go encourage him on his Etsy page. He's got some other puzzles as well. Fun thing to leave laying around. Definitely addicting once you get started. You have a hard time stopping. Hey right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, we got an office tour video coming up soon, probably this week. Stay tuned for that. Uh, check out the merch if you like it, first.shop. Link in the description as well. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.